says it's starting. It says we are live. I'm just waiting for it to okay. pop up over. Yeah. On. <clears throat> but for some reason, I think it's not going until it pops up over there, even though it's a complete delay. Yep, you're and live. I have a second ad. So. Yep, exactly. <laughs> yep, time. you are live. You are live. Awesome. Hi. Hi, Ange. Hi, Ange. Hello. Thank you for being here. I want to thank my um, lovely panel, Maggie White and Laurel, for helping me out. Oh, you're welcome. Laurel is Forever Purple Creations on YouTube. Hi, Abril. Hi, Abril. How are you? Hi, Abril. Okay, it, it only lets me share with friends. Oh, all right. Don't worry about it. Okay. Where do you want me to share it? Wherever you, wherever. In the wherever. group. My group. Yeah, share it in in the craft room and your group and um, oh, KS3. Can, you can you share are. it in the regular KS for you. All right. Hi, Paula. Hello, Hi, Paula. Paula. How are you? And I want to thank Angie for moderating my chat box. You're awesome. You're awesome. I might have some more chat moderators pop in. You never know because I never let anybody know what I'm doing. No, she does it on the fly. Well, this one was planned more than they usually are. Oh, doing good now. Getting ready to learn something I haven't done yet. So we'll see how it goes. Yes. Yeah. Why, why turn to tea? I'll tell you the story about that later. <laughs> but yes, tea is what we're having. I'm actually having some black chai tea. So there's a little caffeine going on here because, you know, I'm by eight. So I'm trying to kick up the caffeine. So maybe I can hang in a little bit longer. But we're going to make a pocket letter. Lana. Hi, Lana. Hi, Lana. Hi, Lana. How are you? I know it's late for you right now. So I want to know in chat who has and who has not made a pocket letter. I love them. And I am just determined to make everybody else fall in love with them, too. Yeah, well, not happening here. That's a hard sell. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Hi Michelle. Ah, oh, big hugs to you. Hi Michelle. All right, Paula's made one. Awesome. Hi Tammy. Hi Tammy. Hi Tammy. How are you? I don't know if you guys know Michelle. She does some beautiful mixed media. I'm gonna go check right now. I'm yeah. loving where you oh, I'm not right sure. There's mostly <clears> on. <throat> I think I don't think she has YouTube videos, but she does have a blog and she shares on Facebook and it's just beautiful stuff. I will subscribe anyway. Right, because then maybe I can find her blog from her YouTube. Yes, because yes. she does share on Google. <clears throat> yes, how lovely. So, girls, we are gonna make pocket letters. So Michelle, Tammy, Abril, have you guys made pocket letters? I have and love them too. So, Avril, you've made them. Yay. Yeah, Avril makes gorgeous oh. pocket letters. I love them. So, I'm, I'm making a pocket letter. Are supposed to be like, they're originated for like a pen pal type of, of thing. So, you, you know, you'd have a letter, a little about yourself and all that kind of thing, like a pen pal type of thing. I don't do it like that. I treat it as um, a piece of art itself. And that's what I love about it because I don't know how many of you are familiar with ATCs, but ATC is two and a half by three and a half card that you art on, right? Whatever you want, you know, mixed media it up. <clears throat> well, this way you get nine ATCs in one page. So it makes me totally happy. I don't know what's not to like about that. Right. I love it. Hi, Jules. Hey, Jules. So Maggie does not have any baseball card sleeves because even though for years I've been trying to get her on the bandwagon, she is just dragging her feet. I don't like doing pocket letters. Um, Miss, Miss Mags. What? What did we make on your channel not too long ago that will make six or will make eight ATCs? Um. Right. The mi mixed media mashup? No, we did the zine. The zine. Oh, so oh yeah. Zine and then cut it apart. Right. 
and put it in the pockets later on when you get your pocket sleeve. It's the same thing, and you enjoyed making that. And Paula agrees with me. Yes, Paula. No, Paula is going to change her mind. <laughs> <clears throat> Maybe after she sees you two do it. I'm going to work my magic on Paula and Maggie. This is my goal. All right. Well, you go, girl. <laughs> so I wish I could get, like, I have binders of pocket letters I've swapped with people over the years, but they're still in. Okay, look at the dog. He's totally trying to get Jake out of, out of Daddy's chair. Really? All right, I'm going to put him outside because he's. He's insane. He's he's getting a little wound up. All right. I got to let him out real quick. Can okay. I click on one of you? Here, look at what Maggie's doing. Oh, God. <laughs> just going to be crafting while we're making a pocket. Yeah, I'm just going to craft. I started a new um, doily album, and I'm use, actually using Michelle Scott's um, images that she sent me in my challenge. And... Um, I'm going to try to um, stay on the quiet side tonight because I have a head cold and I don't know how long I'm going to last without coughing and all that stuff because I babysat a one-year-old Friday night and her nose was like a little faucet. <laughs> <laughs> now I have it. So anyways, back yes, to you did make a gorgeous scene, Tammy. I love those images, Maggie. By the, I just love them. I, I love them too. She sent me some beautiful images. So I'm going to use those. So you go ahead with your pocket letter. Okay. So for your pocket letter, you're going to need a baseball card sleeve. I get mine on Amazon really cheap. You can also buy them at Walmart, <clears throat> all the supply stores. I mean, they're everywhere, really. Thank you. You know, if you don't have one right now, you can still make the nine individual cards. Just make sure they're two and a half by three and a half, and then they're ready to put together when you get. Maybe you need some toast. Maggie, that's for you. <laughs> did, did anybody say that? I don't well, know. Who else? Who else would say that? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to switch my camera down to my messy desk, and we'll. That's, that's what I'm going to do, too, so people cannot stare at me while I'm trying to share here. <laughs> All right, so here's my little sleeve, but I'm gonna set that aside. Well, let me just tell you a little bit about what I would normally do. I'm actually doing it a little bit differently because I don't have the right size paper for what I want. Um, normally what I like to do is make a seam with, with my um, sleeve. So I would take, um, can I find one that has a seam on it maybe? I'm so prepared. I'm so, I had one. I can, here we go. So like, I'm doing a Paris to theme pocket letter. So if this was a bigger Eiffel Tower, I'd use it. And then I'd just cut my um, pages right out of this. So this would be the scene that you'd see in my sleeve before <clears throat> I decorate it. Hi, Cheryl. Cheryl. Hi, Cheryl. Hi, Cheryl. But since that wasn't going to do it for me, I'm going to go ahead and use one background paper for all nine pages. So I'm going to use this. Hi, Cheryl. It doesn't say, I have no idea what paper pad this is. It's just all Paris papers and a little sleeve. And I don't think there's like a. Could, could oh, that be Imperia? This is Sweet Paris. Oh. By Dovecraft. The paper pad, paper uh -oh. pad we're using. I'm pretty sure I got uh, Chana's. I never can remember the name, even though I order paper. Uh, darn it. I don't remember. Archana's store. I buy all my paper from Archana. She has all the cool paper. So that's what I'm going to use. So I'm going to cut these all into. Um, Two and a half by three and a half. That's so. Laurel, do you know what paper you're using? Do you have a theme yes, here? I'm, I'm, using, I'm, using a themed, I'm using a themed mm -hmm. from my unicorn pad. So I'm doing a unicorn themed one. Hi, Debbie. Ooh. You're doing a unicorn? 
Yes, a unicorn. Oh, my alarm's going off. My my watch says it's two o'clock. I must have bum bumped the time at some time today. <laughs> is Amy's voice going like in and out, or is yes. it just for me? No. Okay, I'm hearing her going in and out too. Here, you can watch me. This is what happens when you buy these. I was wondering why that looks so small. These sleeves, these first two are two and a half. This last one is like two and three quarters. That's unfortunate. Hi, Deb. Deb, can you guess what we're doing? I'm making a uh, Paris themed pocket letter. She knows why. All right. So you can when you buy the cheap sleeves. So one sleeve, the pieces aren't big enough. <gasps> Is it buffering for you guys on YouTube? No, you keep um, freezing and your voice kind of goes a little strange here and there. You're frozen. Not YouTube inning. Something ain't right. <clears throat> Did you hear what I said, Amy? Yeah. Okay. I just want to make sure. <clears throat> but I don't know how to fix it. Is the issue. Hi, Debbie. I'm trying to reload. Let's see if that. Is it for you guys? Because I'm reloading, but it's taking forever to do it. Yes, that's what happens when I live in the woods. Tammy's got Oh, I want to see the rel. Oh, hold on, I'm oh. just about done. Okay, I can see you now. I, I mean, I'm watching on YouTube, but let me go back to Hangouts now. All right. Is it okay on YouTube? Like it's maybe it's just Hangouts? No, it's it's. Uh, well, I also have a lag, but it's uh, it's jerking a little bit, but I don't see it buffering or anything. Is her voice okay? Amy, say something. Something. Okay. Now her voice is fine. Yeah, it was okay for me, too. All right. Sorry, guys. It, you got to remember, she's in the mountains, so it may come and go a little bit here and there. That's Hi, Deb Hendrick. Hi, Debbie Vignola. Hi, Debbie. I just wanted to work properly. Well, now you sound okay, so yeah, maybe. you sound fine. Yeah, and you're, and you're not freezing up, so go. Yes, okay. I'll go. So I'm going to grab my paper and start cutting too. <laughs> I'm still just cutting my two and a half by three and a half um, background pages. Lorel will cut hers as soon as Lorel can find her, her cutter. <laughs> oh, oh, All right. So now I got to pick a page that I want to use for my beautiful unicorn pad. That I'm going to be using to make my unicorn journal. Look at you rocking that unicorn. Okay, normally I would only cut out eight, even though there's nine pockets, because I always, always put a shaker in the middle. And oh, I'm still now you tell me. <laughs> well, I'm still going to put a shaker in the middle, but this time I'm going to go ahead and use a background paper and put the shakers on top. So I decided to go ahead and use paper. So I just usually leave it clear, but not, not today. Not today. So I like to go ahead and fill the sleeves. Now, if you're not using double-sided paper, I, 
I know this is ridiculous, but I have a real issue with having just white on the back of your Great, because mine is not double-sided. Mine isn't either, but we're going to fix it. Okay. Okay, because I feel like the back should be pretty, too. Yes, it should. I can't stand it to just have a blank white back to your pocket letter. Just, just stick some pattern paper back there, people. Please. Do it. Oh my gosh! Decisions, 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 decisions. I don't know what piece to lose. I know, right? So there is my front. Isn't it pretty, pretty? But I also want it pretty, pretty on the back. So let me see which paper I'm going to use for that. I think I'm going to use this one. It doesn't have unicorns on it, but I'm going to be putting unicorns all over it. Unless I just use this one that says Magic Seeker, because even when you cut it up and you put them all together, you're going to see the word, right? If you so Lay your uh, baseball sleeve on top and center that. You know what I mean? Center your uh, baseball sleeve yeah. on top. Of yep. Then you know where to cut your paper if you want that on there. Yeah, it's going to cut a little bit of each. Oh, there we go. That'll work just like that. So you need to mark it so you know where to cut. Okay. <laughs> Good idea. Yeah, you got these, girl. You got these. All right, what do I want for the background in the back? I think I want to use this because I'm not going to use this on the front. So let's go with it. But I love it when you do that and then you can see like an overall message or image on your baseball sleeve. I love it. Right. So I'm just going to be cutting more paper. Is anybody making a pocket letter with us? You should be. Oh, sorry. <laughs> and Mags is getting a phone call as we speak. Okay. <laughs> I'm glad I just bought new blades for this putter. Yeah, I, uh, that's what I need. Mine is uh, not my friend right now. All right, so we're going to use this one, I think. Magic Seeker, that is me. I love that. All right. Now I need to cross. Where's my pencil? I just got it. I can't see my desk to make anything. Paula, it's all that de-stash in your doer. <laughs> and she's still got toast jokes, Maggie. Is, does she really? She doesn't give up. <laughs> Anna loves that paper pad, Lorel. Oh, thank you very much. Yes, I know she loves unicorns too. It's fantastic. Super cute. I am making a Paris themed one for Deb. Deb having a challenge for a Paris themed pocket letter. And I was like, yes, please give me an excuse to make a pocket letter. Yeah, me too, Tammy. I'll race you there. We're racing to Paula's to get a hold of her stash. Mm -hmm. I believe we have made nine for the background now. Let's see. All right. Okay, so now I've got pretty paper for the back. And I to take that extra step. To me, it makes such a difference. So cute. I have a pretty front and a pretty back. Now, of course, you don't decorate the back cards like you're going to do the front. You're going to put goodies in the back. And sometimes some people have, you know, can't decide what to put in the back. I'm going to give you examples when I fill my pockets, which but I will show you what you can fill your pockets with. 
All right, so that was easy. That was just cutting paper and look, it's so pretty on the front and the back. Gorgeous. Love it. Trying to figure out how to... I already know that the middle is going to be a shaker, so I'm not even worried about trying to figure out how to decorate it. But what I normally do is put a doily heart every time in almost every pocket letter I've ever made. So if anybody's here that's received a pocket letter from me, you have a doily heart right here. Uh -huh. I'm high low for doily hearts because I'm out. I can find them nowhere. So they're hard to find. Yeah, I decided I would cut hearts out of the matching paper and just do that instead. So I'm not going to put my signature doily heart, but I am putting my signature heart in there. Did we get all that? Does that all make sense? Yep. So I know these two pockets will be a heart and this will be a shaker. So that leaves me these pockets to then art on. Thank you, Michelle. And so I just have to cut this in half. Oh, I don't think I turned off my notification. Michelle says gorgeous. Deb loves it. Tammy, one of her favorite images. All right, so I have to do this from this way first. All right, I'm going to turn off Facebook so I don't have that going on anymore. <laughs> well, that's because you have so much to de stash, Paula. She de stashed this paper pack. <gasps> And she still has some. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? I'm sorry I have to miss your D stashes because they're on Saturday. All right, so for the next three weeks, I plan on going live, uh, but only for the next three weeks. Sorry, I go to bed at 8 o'clock, and that's going to resume in about a month. All right, so now I'm just going to glue... Do I want to ink them? I'm going to ink them up, I think. Let's do it. Let's do it. <clears throat> my ink box. Okay, I'm working with Speedy Gonzalez over here. Number two. I'm just going to I'm just going to ink my edges. Nothing fancy while you're getting your paper cut. Really, Laurel? <laughs> really? <laughs> Okay, hey, I titled now. No, I'm eye candy. What's happening? You're Speedy Gonzalez now. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to use the good old uh, vintage photo because it's my absolute favorite. Who doesn't love vintage photo? I'm just not going to distress the edge I cut, I don't think. Is my chat not working? Or is what? nobody putting it? Nothing, nothing um, in the chat. Uh, no new chat. Oh, you know what? Let me put it on live chat. I always forget to do that. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just trying to change mine too. It doesn't Should let me change live. Anymore. Every time I try and do it, I'm on live chat. That's why. Tammy says, meet, meet. Roadrunner, meet, meet. <laughs> Okay, yeah, see, now it's going. So you want it on live chat, right? Yes. Okay. That's the deal. Okay. Got it. <clears throat> sure. I just love the way things look when they have distress ink on the edges. Just, it's better. Super cute. Definitely better. So I do like to take my time and make each one pretty that's the point that's the process that's the fun of it i promise maggie and paul <laughs> <laughs> didn't i i swear i sent you a baseball sleeve last year maggie i think i did no i don't think you did mm. i don't think you did well, you know what's coming in your next box just saying <laughs> All 
I'm really into paper crafting right now. I don't know what's happening, but I'm into it. And I want to, my next, when I go live next week, I'm going to make um, Christmas cards. I want to make some Christmas cards. And if I'm going to do it, I got to start now. And the template that I'm going to use, I am going to um, put in the craft room Facebook group. So that if you want to make cards with me, you'll have the template too. So oh, there's a, awesome. yeah, there's a link to that group below. It's in the craft room and I will put the template in there. And also below, you're going to find the link to chaos for you, even though I'm not currently designing for chaos for you because I need a little break. It's still my go-to for supplies. So I, her link will always be there. Yeah. Right, now, and we're going to talk her into coming back at some point. At some point. I just see a little break. That's all. Okay. okay. You know what? I actually might start doing this instead of the doily heart because this is kind of cute. The heart with inside the heart from the matching paper. I kind of like it. And I am using um, my Helmar Craft Hobby PVA glue. Um, I am still designing for Helmar. I have two projects to go before my term is up. And it's great glue. I mean, they really sent me some awesome adhesives. Great company to design for. Yeah, they sent you a lot of stuff. They really did. Very generous. And it's good stuff. Good stuff. I should have put their link below. Wow. What a terrible <laughs> design team member I am. Goodness. Right. Now, you know what I really want to do? Jean! Hey, girl! We have another moderator in the chat box. So glad Hi, you're here. Jeannie. Hi, Jeannie. Now, here's the thing is I have tried to drag Jean into pocket letters, too. <laughs> I do this to all my friends. It's a horrible thing that I do to them. Stay away from the light, Jeannie. <laughs> we have swap pocket letters. <laughs> it's awesome. All right. You know, I really want to stickle it, but it takes so long to dry. But I, mm, am I going to do it? <laughs> you could, uh, can't you do it later? Because that does take a long time to dry. And if you don't. Use your heat gun. It'll dry really quick. It does? Let's try it. Okay. <laughs> I got to stickle it. I can't help myself. I'm just going to stickle these roses. I always, I always put, end up putting my fingers in it or. Well, you know, yeah, me too. Something before it's dry. Probably will happen. I'm not going to say it won't happen, but I didn't stickle something. Um, I forget what it was that I made recently. And I didn't stickle it and somebody made a comment. Really? About like why didn't where's the stickle? Stickle it. Yeah. Yeah, I use stickles all the time. Love stickles. Oh, yes. Jean's made two two pocket letters. I don't think they're her favorite either. But whatever, you guys. Come on. How's it going over there, Lorel? It's going. I'm just trying to. It's very hard to pick this kind of paper because you know you have to match it up to the squares, and then I'm cutting off some of the stuff. So, but it's going. Uh, I'm getting there. I just want to make sure they all fit in the pockets. Yeah, I know. All right, I'm going to um, run my heat gun. Please let me know if it's too loud. Nope, the noise went away. Yep. Awesome. That's weird that. how that does that. I yep. think it's away. All right. All right. Nope, you that's really want them to have stickles. It's got to be sparkly. <coughs> Ooh, something's burning, though. I'm definitely burning something with this heat gun. Don't burn your paper. I mean, like, how many years ago did you give me this heat gun? This was a gift from Jean, this heat gun. Like, three years ago? I want to say it's still going like a champ. Still sticking still out. This is not making any I know sense. It's going in these bottom pockets. I'm going to take it out to glue it on. Yeah, that'll be super cute. I love it. 
All right, I'm going to use this Helmar glue again, I think. Is it Not again with me. Well, we're just going to go with it. If I have to stickle it again later. Yeah, maybe this four years, huh? Time flies. All right. Best heat gun ever. I just need my background paper, which should be a lot easier than what I just did. In my heart, you just have to get it right edge. So it looks right. <clears throat> yeah, we're slaving away. Yep. Two and a half. Two and a half. Two and a half. Me too, Queen. I'm so thankful for that heat gun, man. Seriously. All right. Got those. I want to do a pocket letter swap in the group. I just have to get enough of you in love with doing it. So we can have a proper swap. I'm so glad that Deb's having this challenge, though. Because I was looking for an excuse, and Deb gave it to me. You needed an excuse? Well, you know, sometimes. Oh. All right. All right. Here's my back one. And I usually do put um, stuff around the edges right here. So um, I'm not going to do that yet because I'm going to see what I do with the rest of the pocket before I decide. So that's a shaker. And then these two pockets are basically done. So I'm here, Timmy. I'm just not doing a pocket letter. I think I'm going to use washi tape. She's here being a party pooper. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I didn't have any of those sleeves. I know. So there's that no was... point in trying to make one if you don't have the sleep. What was that? I'm going to use the glitter even though it gets all over my face. It's okay. I'm going to use the glitter washi. Now, some people like to put stuff on the outside of their pocket letter. Which I'm going to be doing. I that before too i prefer to keep it all on the inside though so i'm going to and normally i would put this trim along the outside here maggie yes yeah. i'm never calling you speedy Gonzales. <laughs> <laughs> you better <laughs> not <laughs> oh my gosh well let's Amy. see are you filling your pockets with paper yet let me see what I'm you're just, doing yeah i'm trying to make sure that i'm as i'm cutting them i want to make sure that they all fit so I'm just sticking them all in my pockets right now for now. I'm good. Just till I get them all cut. Then I'll take them out and work on one at a time. Yeah. I will, Tammy. It's got to be me. <laughs> he does rock those doilies, though. All right. Okay, I've got all my papers cut. Woohoo! Yeah, we have and Maggie on the panel, Jean. Wow, that looks like snake skin. Yeah, the back, doesn't it? Oh, that's awesome. So that's the front. It says Magic Seeker with my unicorn right smack there. Oh, that's so cute. I'm excited to see how you're going to embellish it and make sure that the Magic Seeker still shows. Yes. I'm. That's going to be awesome. Paula wants to know the name of your paper, Pad Laurel, and Jeannie says, of course you're using purple. Of course I am. It's <laughs> this one. It's the uh, Magic Hour by Recollections. It's the unicorn pad. Wow. I've never seen that before. It's so Yeah, super I have all the stuff that goes with it, too. Trust me, I bought it all. <laughs> it was all on a special buy at 70% off, and that's when I got it all. Wow. Okay, so now I can take them out, take one out at a time, and I'm going to distress my edges too, but not in not in vintage photo. 
I will. No. Be using... <laughs> what are you using? Well, I wonder what, what you be using. I wonder I what it can be. Purple, of course. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's a real shocker. So are you going to ink the whole, each entire card? I was, I was going to. Awesome. Should well, I not? No right or wrong answer here. <laughs> it's all what you want to do. I think that's awesome. Okay, now you got me wondering if that's what I'm supposed to do. There's no supposed to. This okay. is crap. This is how I'm doing it. Awesome. This is, this is how Laurel likes it, so this is what Laurel's doing. Right, so okay. What you, like, what you want to do. All right, now while you ink your edges, I'm going to add some trim. Hi, Tammy. Hi, Tammy. Uh, you're not on me, are you? You're off me, right? Okay, good. Yes, I, I'm. while you're distressing your edges, I'm going to go ahead and add my, my trim. So instead of adding the trim to the outside, I'm going to add it to the cards. So I'm going to remove them. I also accidentally removed the backs, which is not necessary. <coughs> Tammy Allwood is doing a pocket letter right now, too. Right. What theme are you doing? I love you got to theme them suckers. All right. So I know that they're going to go in my pocket like this. So I'm just going to take the very glittery washi tape, which is now going to be all over my face. And probably making me. Oh, good night, Debbie. Good Debbie, night, Debbie. has to go. Hi, Debbie. Yeah. Did I miss anybody that came in? Ginny's going to craft too. She's going to um, work on a mini album for fall. Yay. Thank craft. you, Tammy. Thank Every you, Jeannie. Everybody should be crafting. Yes, everybody should be crafting. So I'm putting it right up against the edge. That's how I, I want that. Let me just do that with all of the, three of the cards. <clears throat> I, love this washi tape. I don't love that it sheds, but I love the glittery. Okay. Let's get that out of the way. So now I'm just going to trim it. I have these basic things I do before I decorate the pages. And my dog is totally barking. I, can you hear Ruger? Just barely. Just for a second. He went, Ruger. Yeah, he's going off. Oh, Michelle, my goodness. Been crafting since 5 a.m., she says. Well, I've been up since 5 a.m., but I wasn't crafting. <clears throat> All right. So now I'm going to put these back in just so I can see what they look like and decide what I'm going to do next while my dog is going off. It must be an animal. I mean, it can't be a person. Is it dark there yet? Huh? Is it dark there yet? Yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah, it's dark here too. Yeah. Sun is shining away here. Well, I mean, it is what? It's my bedtime, I feel like for sure. 746 almost. Yeah, I I yeah. I don't think I could go to bed that early ever. All right. I'm gonna put on the road just a minute so that I can message my um Okay. Back real quick. I'm just I'm just playing with purple, guys. So has gotta do everything a little bit different than everybody else. I'm trying to find a quick way to distress these. I don't want a lot, but it's gonna end up being a mess anyway. Half of it's gonna get covered anyway, so it doesn't matter. You know me, I do it and then you cover it, but I know it's there. <laughs> He's so sweet. He didn't call because he knew we were live. Uh -huh. Oh, he said, I'm sad. I can't call you. You're with your friends. Oh, Aww. that's sweet. 
so sweet. All right, I'll click back on you now. All right, so I've got my heart. I know my shaker's going here. I've got my trim. I think what I'm going to do is add these to the corners of my pocket letter. If I can get them glued down, I might use hot glue because then it'll just give me a really fast hold. I am going to glue them inside the pockets, not outside because they'll pop off. What, what are you adding? These um, metal corners. All the metal corners, yeah. Yeah, they kind of have to go in the pocket. Let me see if I can use hot glue for this. Wow, he's really going off. I hope it's not like a moose or something or coyote. Oh, am I going to have to go out in the woods? I don't want to. Why, you think he took off? Well, he can't take off because he's got um, an electric fence. Oh. I don't, know. I don't know what in the world he would be barking at besides an animal. I mean, he's a big dog, but I guess some animals could actually hurt him. Okay. Oh, I like, I like the metal corners. That's cute. Yeah, that, that is definitely, uh, this is not your house bark. He's this definitely... Is He's definitely telling something. Yeah, I know, right? All right, let me put it on you while I go see what is right. going on. Just be careful. Yes, be careful. <clears throat> yeah, he's barking at something. Especially because if you notice, he was doing the same exact bark every time. Yeah. Okay, I'm not sure how this is going to turn out because it's my first one, but it's always a learning experience. I'm sure it will be beautiful. Okay, why did that? It's dark and I can't see what's going on out there, so we'll just have to see. Let me get the rest of my corners. Don't come in here barking, though, okay? <laughs> I got you. Hi, baby. Good good boy. Oh, he's no, no. <laughs> Go get your toy. Go get your toy. Lay down and chew it like a good boy. Yeah, doesn't he know we're on live? <laughs> yeah. I don't think he cares. That is not right. Oh, you got, he brought me his toy. Oh my God, he's so cute. Aww. Oh, you're a good baby. Why didn't you bench you on it? Please. <clears throat> All right. Get my last corner on here. Oh, excuse me, Ruger. You're going to have to move your face. You have to move your face. So you want to craft too? Apparently. Maybe he wants to make a pocket letter. <laughs> Everybody wants to make a pocket letter. Right, Max? Oh, not everyone. Okay. Not everyone. I don't know how you cannot like this. Right? I think it's so cute. Like I like little well, kids. I mean, I haven't tried making one probably, you know, in over a year or whatever. So, you know, it was because I couldn't get past... I couldn't make an ATC. It, it, but they, you did when you made the oh, zines. Yes. So maybe you, you know, when we made that zine, maybe that will free up some creativity and I'll try it. I just, I have to get some of those sleeves because there's no point in making one if you don't have the sleeve, right? No, you can still make it. No, what are you going to put it in? Well, you just keep them and put a paper clip on them till you get a sleeve. Right. I'm going to send you some sleeves. I'll check with Mason. He might have some from his uh, baseball cards. Things, cards. 
All right, so now that I've done all those things I wanted to do, now I have to start decorating the individual cards and I honestly don't know what I'm doing. What am I doing? We're winging it is what we're doing. Yes, we are, that's for sure. Sometimes that's the best thing to do is to wing it. What, bud? What did I do with that punch I got? Oh, I do have this ticket punch. I think in one of my cards, I wanna have two tickets. Maybe one of them will have one of these vintage images on it. I know that was a beautiful paper pad, wasn't it, Tammy, that Maggie used on her zine? It was gorgeous. Yes, it was. Gorgeous. So let's make some. Oh, yeah, I love that paper pad. I want to use the stripe. Yeah, I started looking at all my old papers to see what I had. So, oh, she can't find it. I guess that was an old pad, isn't it? All my pads are old, except for the one I got off of um, one of Paula's D stashes. I got one of the Stamperia pads. Yeah. I can't. That was. Call it to me and see if she might um, still have any of those pads for her um, Saturday D stash. I'm trying to get this image in here to cut right where I want it, but it's not really cooperative. It's going to be crooked. Come on. Paula Shabling. Uh, uh, what? What's um, Paula's Shabling? Shabling Vintage and Lace. Vintage and Lace, yeah. She was in here earlier. If you go up in the feed, you'll see her. Uh, um, oh, I can't remember her post. But she's on Facebook, too, as well as YouTube. She says, yes, she knows Paula. Okay, good. Yeah, Tammy knows Paula. So this is a little bit crooked, but I'm not even going to, I don't even care. But let's, let's uh, distress those edges, shall we? Oh my God, I can't get it out. It's so tight in here. There she is. That's okay, Paula. Um, Tammy was asking about the um, the Stamperia pad that I got from one of your uh, D stashes, the uh, lavender one. Do you have any more of those Stamperia pads, maybe? I feel like I'm missing out on a gold mine because I can never make yeah. Who's the de Deb wants to know who's the devil? Did somebody say something about a devil? What? I don't know. I, I could give her some answers. I don't know if that's what Deb she's Hendrick, she says I'm back, ladies, but then a couple of posts later she says, Who's the devil? I have no idea what she even means. Oh, I don't know what she means, but I could answer it, but I won't. All right, I just ordered some of these, um, what are these called, eyelets? Or is that what they are, little, metal? You use your crocodile to crumple them? Yes, eyelets. Eyelets. Yeah. Bought a couple of eyelets. Um, from, well, I guess I can't say where, I don't know. So I'm gonna add, add them. Oh, you went, or, oh. Yeah. yeah. Are you, like, are, you mon are you monetized? Yes. Oh, okay. Never mind then. Yeah, no, you can't. Okay, then. I'm going to add these eyelets, which is the... Oh, it was an expression. Okay. I cleared that up. <laughs> good, 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 good. Well, I cleared that up. Ladies, don't forget the thumbs up. Oh, why, thank you. 
I love the way the tags look with the eyelet on there. I just love that finishing touch. Except it's so hard for me to crimp these suckers down though. Oh, I have such an issue when it comes to figuring out even which way to use the dang thing. Okay, I may make a noise because if I don't kill this fly right now. Okay, go kill the fly. Handle your business. Go kill the fly. Go crazy. Hi, Marty. How are you? Hi, Marty. Hi, Marty. And um, Deb, this is my crocodile. And so it makes little holes in the tags, and then it has this crimper to put on your um, eyelet on your tag and i sure that i don't use it correctly because i feel like it shouldn't be that hard to crimp my little eyelid on but it takes all the muscle i got you there it is yeah look i pulled i pulled mine out too i got this cool set on clearance from um michael's it was 19 dollars, and i got it for 6.99 and it's got a pink an orange a green purple blue teal white and black and then the different sizes and the uh, and the brads that deal i need it <laughs> like, oh. I'll, use, I'll use some of the purple ones all right i find oh, that i want to do this all right i'm on you to see what you got going on i'm thinking i just put some washi across the bottom i'm probably going to put some across the top right in here where there's nothing because that's a safe spot just because I like it and it's pretty. But I don't know if I want to do that or if I want to use one of my unicorn washies. I have three of them that have unicorns on them. How come I can never find my twine when I need it? Like... This one might be pretty too, though. I guess I might use that on the back. I'm going to continue with this one because I like this one. How are you doing over there, Mags? Oh, I'm doing okay. Okay. Yep. Hi, to lights. <clears throat> yes, Deb, we did. I'm in my comfort zone. Yeah, she's staying in her comfort zone. I stayed in it, yes. I've been going out of my comfort zone though lately, right, Laurel? Yes, you have. Okay. So tonight though I'm staying in it because I have a head cold and I don't feel good. Oh, my friend. <laughs> if Paula, you're going to have till the paper? She already had till the paper. Does she have yeah, more? She found more. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You're killing me. I agree. You guys are killing me with that. Hi, Grace. Oh, Tammy's head banging to uh, Allison Chains. Oh, geez. <laughs> <laughs> you go, Tammy. All right. I feel like Jean would do that too. I think she likes them. I could be wrong, but I think so. I can't even breathe right now. Never mind head bang. <laughs> <clears throat> just adding some twine to the top of the tags I just made. Deb wants to know what tilde paper is. Oh, Deb. Oh, my goodness. It's the cutest paper. It's I hoard it. I hardly ever use it. I think I have maybe five different ads of it. And I love them. I love them. I guess I could show you some, but let's try to get through these pocket letters. All right, so I've got these two tags. I think I'm going to put on a card. Let's see. I know, Tammy, it's so hard. Okay, so I, I made my two little tags and I've got some um, twine tied on there. And I think I'm just going to glue them down probably here. But you know, I want to stick all this image like it's going to make me crazy. Okay. We're just going to stick it and set it off to the side to dry while we work on another one. Hey, Cheryl's Crafty World. Welcome. Hi, Charlene. Hi, Charlene. 
there. I feel so much better already just with a little bit of stickles. I have to do it. The condition I have, or everything must be stickled. All right. All right. Set those so are you, Grace? How are you doing? Where's Sierra? I don't see her, Sierra. No, I don't see her either. All righty. Oh, there she is. Hi, Sierra. All of a sudden, the um, chat went quick. Oh, there you are, Sierra. It's Maggie and Laurel on the panel tonight. I'm glad you could stop by. We went by so fast, I didn't even notice. Goodness. All right, so I know that's going in that pocket. So now what pocket do I want to concentrate on? I did find this, which I think is <coughs> Journey Awakens the Soul. I think that would be nice on a card. Uh, maybe be. behind it. That would be. I'm going to use this corner slot. All right. Got to get out the. Um, um, Angie C is the one who turned me on to the colored cheesecloth from Hobby Lobby. Now, I have never seen or heard that they color it. It's amazing. They have all sorts of colors. I bought the brown, or it's like tea dyed to me, and then the pink, of course. Love. All right. So I'm going to add cheesecloth behind my little metal. All right, I'm over here looking for some little bows and my little butter, my little tiny butterfly. Okay. It's cards next week, Laurel. What? It's cards next week. <laughs> cards will be easier. I don't have any cards, but I know I have a little butterfly. It's either a stamp or a little put. There we go. I knew I had a little butterfly. All right. So now I just want to put. I know, right, Charlene? I have never heard of colored cheesecloth. Even... What colors do they come in? I don't remember all the colors. I just know the ones I bought. Was, what did uh, you get? I got like this. It looks like that. And then I got really beautiful. Let me get it out. It's my perfect shade. Perfect shade of pink. And it's a big one. Look at that. It's awesome. Oh, Jeannie colors hers would spray. I, I, yeah. I don't know why I don't think of doing that. But I don't always think of doing that. Really? Even the spray. Ruger, I need you to keep your nose off of my elbow before I burn myself. Yes. Mostly because most of my sprays get clogged up. I've yet to meet a spray that doesn't clog. It's so annoying, right? Yes. There was a, you know what? I, I like to use the powders because I feel like that's, you can always spray water out of the bottle onto the powders. Oh, I think that's super cute. All right, let me put that in. You know, you got me all confused when you said, I can't wait to see how you're going to keep those letters showing. <laughs> <laughs> that, that threw off my whole thought process. I'm like, oh, no. I'm like, how am I going to decorate this? But you still see that it says Magic Seeker. You can do it, man. I, I know you can. All right, something's upside down here. I'm on you, just so yeah. All right, right now I'm playing with teeny tiny little butterflies because there's little butterflies on here. And I want to oh, put a little. Can you hold oh. one of those to the camera so I can get a good look yep. at it? It's a little. I'm teeny just working tiny on a I'm <gasps> sorry. I'm just working on a doily mini, Deb. And oh I have God. little bitty heart stars too, being as there's stars on here. So I think perfect. That's I love them. Yeah, cool. I have little bitty stars too. Maggie's doing what Maggie does best since she doesn't feel well this evening and she's not exactly sold on the pocket letters yet. So she's just relaxing. Yet. yet. 
I love those butterflies, Laurel. Those are thank you. This oh, I just shot my flowers. It's time to get out the flower boxes. So, how are you putting flowers on? Are you putting that on the outside? No, but I'm not, I'm using flat flatter flowers. Oh, okay. Avril says decorate the letters, sequins, glitter, blue. That's what I was thinking. I'm like, I want to do them. I want to raise them up. Because I was thinking about outlining them and raising them up and yeah, decorating, yeah, decorating the letters. But I have like unicorn stamps and stuff I want to use. I mean, I could put it lightly over it. You would still see the wording, especially if I um Hi Therese. Hi Therese, how are you? All right, not that one. That one's too dark. All right, let's try that one. Flowers, yes, of course. Yeah, I need a different color. I need like a silver. Where's my silver? I need some silver paper. Oh. I do. Michelle have says, "Cute idea with the butterflies and stars." I love it, right? Yeah. So butterflies can be Paris, right? Oh yeah. yeah. I think they have butterflies in Paris. I think so. <laughs> I think so. Right, well, That'll work. If they don't, they should have. Good, right? They need to get them some butterflies. <laughs> get them some butterflies over there. Don't you hate it though when you go through your flowers and you don't have what you're looking for? So annoying. Oh wait, I think I found them. Okay. Quit complaining and look harder. Gotcha. That's purple. I know I need so. <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, I've done through the I think we've settled on some flowers. Are you using a punch? What are you punching out? No, I'm punching out little stars. Because there's, oh there's there's butterflies and stars on here, so that's super, super cute. All right, so for my little pairs. There we go. I need to add flowers to this card. It doesn't feel done to me. Um, it needs it needs a little something. something. A little something. A little something. A little something. 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 Jeannie okay. says she can't wait to see where you use that trim that she sent you, Amy. Oh yeah, I love that trim. I might hoard it for a while, so don't hold your breath. <laughs> <laughs> I love it so much. I it's gonna be hard for me to use it. Butterfly. We're gonna do this one in silver. I like this color with with this. So we're gonna even. Though I don't have a lot of this color. It works well here. So I'm just gonna put a little three cluster down here at the bottom. That's just gonna make me. And then there there's a butterfly on here, where one half of it is on one sheet and one half is on the other. So that's how I'm gonna put it on here. Oh, oh cute. One half on one and one half on the other. That's adorable. Oh, you can see the butterfly when it's put together. Yeah. Man, if I could catch this fly, I'd send it to you. You could put the fly in there. Yeah, oh. no, no flies. You don't want no stinking fly. All summer, I went all summer without a single fly getting in here. Well, you know, your luck ran out. Yep. Yes, it did. All right, Jinx. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to call that one done. That pocket is done. But this is going to go here. Do All right, can I see one? So I can you hold up one so I can see what you've done so far? Like just hold up one to the up to the camera. Oh, so now you're making tags? I made tags for this pocket. Okay, are they going to go behind it or in front? They're going to go behind it, but I'm waiting for the stickles to dry. Okay. It's going to go like that. It's probably gonna have a little bow right here. Okay. Um, this pocket wow, is- Wow, that looks really pretty. Love it. And then these, this pocket is done basically, but I might use some flat back pearls around. Oh, the really pretty. That's really pretty. So now I'm gonna pick another pocket to start working on. Lucky Deb. Tammy says, so pretty. Shoe fly, don't bother me. Now that's going to be stuck in my head, Angie. 
Don't you fly, don't bother me, because I belong to somebody. You're not helping, Pharrell. <laughs> <laughs> the question, okay, the shaker's going to be here. So what do I want to do here? I feel like I might want to get out some appliques. I know, Jeannie. I might be running low. I've made so many of these things now. Even I might run low of doilies, believe it or not. You have a bow. Oh, I might be run low on doilies? I know. I'm going to have to get some more. I know about that. <laughs> I think I'm going to save this bow for the shaker page because that's just cute right there. So this bow will actually be on the outside. All right. Shaker and I'll sew across all kinds of little hearts and stuff going on here. All right, so I need Grace says lovely. Oh, thank you, Therese. Just a head cold. I feel like I have cooler butterflies. Where would they be? See, the lighting is terrible in here. I can't see a thing. Wait, I think I've got down here that sniff or the embellishment um, box Olivia sent me. All right, I need some glitter. They are cool though. Oh, I think I'm going to use that heart on paper clip. I love that. Paris is about love, so I'll use the arrow and the heart. Yes, yes to this. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Absolutely. All right, where's my little tweezers? Because I know they were right here. Because we all used them a minute ago. Oh, thank you, Judy. Oh, oh yeah. Um, my grandkids start the um, day after tomorrow on Wednesday. Angie, I did one, was it last year? I think I did like an advent calendar pocket letter. It took three sleeves and it had a cover. So you had to open, flip it open to see the date. And then there was a. That's a cute oh, idea. That's awesome. Yeah, that's, that's a cute awesome idea. idea. Cool. So we've already got a swap in our swap it group going on, but maybe we can do like a smaller, whoever wants to do advent, advent, um, Pocket letters, it's really fun because you get a prize every day. 25 days of prizes. Yep. I might want to use these here. How's it going, Laurel? It's going. I'm just. <laughs> I'm, I'm slow. Oh, it's okay. It's about enjoying the process. Are you enjoying the process? Oh, yeah. I could sit here for hours just doing one little square at a time. Trust me. <laughs> Which is how it's going to end up turning out. Yeah, that's the fun of it. Why does this go on? Why can't I figure out how to put on a paper clip? Or I think I got it. I feel like I made that harder than it had to be. Amy, Deb wants you to email her your address, and she put her uh, email. I'm never going to remember that email address. Let me copy it right now, Deb. Copy. Okay. Bye, Elegant Delights. Oh, good night, Grace. Good night, Grace. Yes, Deb, my email is in the description box. Thank you, Jean. So all I did on this one is add the um, paper clips, and I'm thinking I'm just going to sit with that. It might be all that that card gets, because it's about the individual cards, but it's really about the pocket letter as a whole. And I kind of dig that. So thank you, Olivia Hernandez, for the really cool paper clips. Yeah, she made some beautiful paper clips in the swap. You made a lot of really pretty embellishments. She did. She's really good at that. You guys, you're awesome like that. Uh. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. I'd love to know, Tammy. It's a struggle.
Yeah, my okay. mailing address is Laurel, awesome. don't you have something that you said is really, really good for picking up the gems? Yeah. It's called the um, crystal, crystal katana. Why does my alarm keep going off? The crystal katana right here. This, thing, this little tool is amazing right here. And Monica is the one that gave me the idea for this. It works way better than all those other things. It's just awesome. Love, love, love it. Sammy wants you to show it. Katana is good at Michael's, Therese said. Yes, you get it at Michael's right below. It's usually hanging below all, all the Swarovski crystal stuff. And it comes in this nice little case like this. And that's Hi, what it looks Sue. like. Sue is a first time watcher. Hi, Sue. Welcome. Yes, welcome to our live. She wants to know how does it work. Um, I will show you right now. I'm about to put something down. So when you're working with little bitty uh, gems and stuff like this, here I'll put it on the white. Is she clicked on me? Probably not, right? Yes, I am. Oh, yes. okay. So you just take it, and you it's it's got a wax tip that never needs to be replaced. I'm you just. Don't need to replace it, but you can. It does come open if you ever should need to replace it, but it is a, a wax. It's not sticky, but all you do is barely tap it, and it picks it right up, and when you put it down on your glue, it pulls it right off. You don't have to sit and use your fingers and stuff. Look, you just barely tap it, and it picks it up. I don't know how, what the magic is, but it's it's magical. That's all I know. Yeah, I have the one where you got to keep changing the little piece yes. of jelly stuff whatever it is and i've just been using my fingers yeah no this stuff is amazing i love this stuff except i probably should have glued down the let's glue down the little star first let's just leave that one white so i'm going to put a teeny bit of glue then i'm going to pick up this teeny little one barely touch it and put it down and it just it makes life so much easier <laughs> Especially because I love to work with um, bling. So it definitely works out for me. Who doesn't like to work? Who doesn't love to work with bling? I mean the oh, tiny God. bling. I like to work with the tiny bling. Yeah, that's yeah. true. You use a lot of that tiny bling. But those are the little... Um, what do you call it? That makes such a deal. That's all you. Those little tiny blings make a huge difference. All right. All right. <clears throat> Of course, Amy's going to have hers finished. I'll be working on mine for the next week. <laughs> <laughs> but it is my first, so I'm not going to try and rush through it. No, not rush through it. No, you don't need to do that. I want to put a mini bling right there. There it is. Right over this star. This, oh, it just blew my butterfly out of the water. Do you like this butterfly? I'm sorry, I'm gonna stand still and digging through my even picks paper. up paper. Even picks up my little bitty butterfly papers. Toward my star. And we'll put on our bling on the star. Oh, I lose my tweezers constantly, and I have a teeny tiny pair of tweezers and I use them for everything and I lose them constantly. And they're like usually right in front of me and I just can't see them. I'm trying to find, you know, those little flowers from chaos for you that have the dangle pearls on them. Yeah. You know, it's the fabric flower with the dangle, right? That's what I want. That's, That's what you want. That's what you're looking for. What I'm not finding currently. I know they're in here somewhere. 
I know they are. Like me, my stuff is in my room somewhere. Where in my room? I'm not quite yep. sure, <laughs> but it's in here somewhere. There's somewhere. I mean, at least I have it narrowed down to it's in this box. I, know I just that. can't believe I have not found my nail kit yet. Are you kidding? No. Really? I, I have like no idea where I put that thing. I really don't. <laughs> it's a mystery to me. That's funny. Did you buy a new one? Yeah, I bought a new one, but I lost the old one. I thought for sure when you bought the new one, that would mean you'd find the old one. Yeah, that's how that's supposed to It's how I it wanted to be put some, uh, mer uh, some mermaids, some fairies in here, too. Because, you know, you can't have unicorns without fairies. I think I want to put one at the top. <clears throat> just to use the butterflies. I like those butterflies. Got to think about that a minute. I'm not sure. Maybe one on each side. I would have had all this planned out better if I wasn't having those distractions late in the afternoon. I do want to put this on something, though. Mm -hmm. Cut it out. Cut it out. I got to figure out how I'm going to go around these letters and with what, because that's going to take some time. But I do want them raised up. Uh, and I know I have dimensional magic, but hmm, I wonder if I should just use. I need like glitter and stuff. This is going to become a messy, messy project is what's going to happen. It's going to become super messy. She said she loves the fairies. Who has fairies? Me. Oh, she, she loves the fairies. fairies. Where do you get them? Oh, these I got These I got at the dollar store. Those were from the dollar store. I just thought they were super beautiful. The Dollar Tree or a different one? Do you know? No, do Dollar Tree. Dollar yep. Tree? Yep. And, and they even have like butterflies in their hair. And I'm going to sneeze. So give me a second. I'm going to try and mute before I sneeze. Oh my God, this bow is cute. Where did this bow come from? Okay. And I only mute when I sneeze because I sneeze really loud. Uh, so do I. I just can't. But I don't know if I could get to my mic if I have to sneeze, if I would get to it in time. So there's no way I would. You're just going to have to hear my giant sneeze. I mean, yeah. Oh my gosh, this fly. You haven't gotten the fly yet? Oh, no. it's driving me crazy. <laughs> They're so fast. You know what you got to do? And I know you're going to say, ew, yuck. Wherever it lands, you go yeah. over it, above it. Flies, yeah, I, I, they fly I, straight I, up and you got to clap right above them. Really? Clap? What yes, do you mean they clap? A fly because then they'll come right up into your hands and you'll smash them. What is that a real what are you saying? Yes, flies fly straight up. So if you're yeah. one's on a table or something and you go over it and just clap your hands together, it'll fly right up in between your hands and you'll kill it. Really? Yes. All right, the next time it lands on here, I'm gonna try that. <laughs> oh my gosh, I have never heard of that. Me either. My goodness. All right. I'm going to add this cute little trim to the top of these three cards. So it's going straight across. I think. Aww. I like now are it. you doing that on the outside? Nope. I'm going to do it on the inside. Oh, okay. And then you're just going to cut each one, right? Mm -hmm. I really don't. Tr I try not to put too much on the outside. It's so hard to get things to stick to this sleeve and stay. In the that's mail. Where, that's where my Fabri-Tac comes in. Does it work good for that? Well, you know why? Because it has acetone in it. I so do it, it grabs and it kind of breaks down the fibers and the plastic. And that's what makes it hold. I love my, well, that's what I'll use to put on my bow then. Because it's got to go on the outside. Yeah, I've never seen those at the Dollar Tree either, Deb. I really? Think, I think I so search through very different stuff. They don't always, they don't all carry the same stuff. I search through every sticker. <laughs> I 
I just went to my dollar store today. I didn't. I haven't been to mine in a while. I should go. I have way too many stickers. I can tell you that. I'm not allowed to buy any more stickers. <laughs> I'm not allowed to buy any more anything. Yes, I know, right? I need to be on a spending freeze for goodness sakes. Me too. Uh, if I could just stick to that. I can't. I wouldn't be able to use what I have in three lifetimes. <laughs> That's no lie because I've seen her hoard in person. <laughs> True. I don't oh, like that the swashy is covering my unicorn's foot. I gotta see if I can move it down. Cause that'll that that is just bothering me. Am I not here? Oh, got this guy off. Nope. No, then there is that washi that you know how people say washi tape never stays. Yeah, it's the ones that you want to come off that, yeah, no, we'll pull off the whole paper. So. Well, I don't know if anybody knows this, but the Tim Holtz washi tape. Yeah. No, this is the tip, the washi tape that, you know, I've had for several years. Um, it doesn't stick to itself. It doesn't, it doesn't stick, stick to itself. No, it doesn't. No, so if you're like trying to cover a little area with the washi tape and you overlap it, it won't stick. Really? I yeah. Did not I know learned that. that when remember I showed you that um Christmas um box car thing that I made of it? Yeah. You know? Yes. Yeah. Um part of it has his washi tape on it and I had to actually glue it down. It doesn't stick to itself. And I found that out from somebody who told me. Because I said, I, I don't know why it's not sticking. And she said, it doesn't stick to itself. Huh. Huh. Now, if he's got new washi tape, that might not be true anymore. But the old stuff. I made a decision. I'm adding this trim to the bottoms of these three also. Just because. <clears throat> so my daughter got her care horse today. Oh, she did? Yeah. And I said, I hope, I said, she's like, I get my care horse at one. I'm like, I hope you get a good, I'm like, did you get a good one? And she's like, well, we, we, they gave us our horses based on our experience. So I got, uh, what, did, what did she say? I got to find it. Cause it would just the way, just the way she said it to me too was hilarious. I was just like, Oh my God, this poor kid. I'm sure she wanted a really nice one. Cause she just loves to be around them. Yeah. You know, and spend time with them. And the yeah. way she described it was hilarious. She's like, where is it? Well, we were paired by like our experience. So I got one that's not really easy. And she's oh. like, apparently he likes to bite. If you stand in front of him. Oh, is like really weird because he like enjoys pain. <laughs> like, yeah, we get a result. So they use him for all the demonstrations involving restraints and such. So I'm like, well, don't get, don't get bit, <laughs> you know. Oh my goodness! I was just like, oh man, poor girl. But she'll she'll tame him. She'll she'll work it right out of him. Yeah, she will. That's amazing. So speaking of kids and amazing things, I got to talk to my soldier yesterday. Oh, nice. Aww. I was so excited because there's like three, three levels during basic training, I guess you'd call them. And when he passes the level, he gets a, a phone call home. Well, when he passed the first level, I missed the dang phone call. Oh, oh my gosh. Because I didn't know it was coming, so I was devastated. I missed it. Um, he did get to talk to his dad, and I think he talks to his sister. But I missed the call. I was devastated. So then he sent me a letter this week, and he's like, I might get to call Saturday or Sunday. So you know I was glued to my phone. That's he just, awesome. Yeah, yeah. He just passed the second level, and so now he's moving on to the third level. But he's very nervous because apparently he flunked one. Oh, good night, Michelle. Good night, Michelle. Michelle. 
Apparently he passed the pretest, I mean, failed the pretest by one push up. Oh, oh you're my kidding. gosh, you're kidding, right? He was getting a new test either today or tomorrow. So he's like, I'm really nervous about that push up. I'm like, you can do this, kid. You got this. But he doesn't sound like a kid anymore. Oh my goodness. Well, he's not a kid anymore. But he's still a kid to me, though. Exactly. I agree, Amy. <gasps> He's still a kid to me, but he's like a grown man. He's like a soldier now. What is happening to my life? It goes by so fast. Yes. Yeah, it goes by way too fast. That's all I know. Way too fast. It was so nice to hear the voice, though. I miss that kid. All right, so here is another card. Done. Mm -hmm. I'm going to flip it in right there. So this is where I'm at. I'm just waiting for the tags to dry here, then tags and a bow. This one's done, and this one's done. And now this one's done. Shaker's going in here. So now I just really have to decorate these two pockets. Nice. Come on, it's coming along. Someone probably should have told me, no, Laurel, don't use the paper with the words on it. Use just a decorator sheet of paper because... Then you could use all this cool stuff you put to the side to put all over it. <laughs> I don't know. I love what you were doing, though. I now I can't cover the words. <laughs> like, oh, God, now what am I going to do? It's a little more challenging, but still very it cool. Is, it, it, it is very challenging. I'm just working on, I'm working on the simple one, which is the unicorn, because that one's easy. Thanks, Tammy. Thanks, Deb. I know, Angie, our baby is going to throw it up. <clears throat> All right. What have I done with my little pink bows? Because I need one for that right there. Thank you, Avril. I rearranged everything after that big V stash, and now I can't find anything. That's how that goes. Um, yes, I found my pink bows. Hallelujah. Yay. Where are my unicorns? Oh, that's right. I could do this. That's right. Ooh, what do you got that's there? That's right. I can do some of that. Okay, let's see if this has any kind of stuff in here I could use. <clears throat> Come on off. All right, where's my stamp thing? Okay, I had it out. Tag might be um, dry. I need to add to the pocket, so I'm going to give it a shot. Ay, 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 ay. Ay, 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 I want to be able to show some ideas for things you can put in the back, too. I can just get through this pocket letter. Well, you don't worry about my pace. You just do it now. I will I will figure it out as I go. I'm really good like that. It'd be awesome. <clears throat> All right. So what do I want to do with my last two pages? Is the question. Hmm. Pretty sure that's going to go there. Seriously? Well, oh, there it is. Good. Is that two dimensional? Let's see if that'll work. I have this charm. I'd really love it if I can just. <coughs> here. I think that would be super cute. Let's go for it. I think Jules fell asleep. <laughs> what? I think Jules fell asleep. <laughs> Jules. Oh my goodness. She said she was. Um, she said she got woken up at six a.m. by uh, people. Uh, you know the guys 
doing something, work, you know, working. Right. Construction. construction. This construction guy. not supposed to start till eight, but she said they started at six and she did. Oh, probably late. because it was going to be so hot today. I would too. Yeah. I'd be wanting to start as early as I can. This tassel on. <clears throat> hmm. This kilt pen I'm going to add to, I always like to put a dangle on my pocket letter, so I'm going to dangle it from this hole right here, but I really want to add this tassel too, I think. Okay. Oh my goodness, look at, uh, see I needed to do a different paper, but I will make this work. You're gonna make it work and it's gonna be awesome. I'll just have to make another one, that's all. That's all. So I love this. Oh, see, but I'm gonna have to pin it a different way because I don't like the way it just hangs like that. Let's see. I want to gift it this awesome quilt pin. Got some, I love Paris Charms, and a key and a heart. But I think I'm going to actually have to pin it because mm -hmm. it hangs funny if you just let it dangle. So I'm going to poke it through, maybe, or poke myself in the process, one of those two. Right. <laughs> oh, there it goes. Angie wants to know, Amy, how do you have such a clean workspace? When I do a pocket letter, my workspace looks like it was torn up from the floor up. Yeah, that's how mine looks right now. And I don't see anything around her. That's because you can only see this. <clears throat> this is all you see. I have crap stacked around me. Abril <laughs> says you could do it, Laurel. I'm working on it. Thanks, Abril. We can. So I love the kilt pin now that it's poked through and not just dangling. See, that is super cute. I always like to add something like yeah. that right in my pocket letter. Adorbs. Oh, adorbs. All right. So I still have, nope, that's a shaker. So I only have this one page left and I wanted to put a butterfly. But I feel like this butterfly is too big. Just as young. I need a smaller butterfly. Oh, I want her to face the other way, darn it. No, 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 no. I don't want her to go that way. I want her to go this way. Shoot. I'll have to use the other one. Mm. Yes, I'm talking to myself out loud. That one's going to go that way, too. I yeah. nice to add dangles, too. i got to figure out what I'm putting on my last page. Let's see what you're doing. Hi, Mary. Stamp something. Hi, Mary. Up. How are you? Mary! What's up, girl? How are you doing? I think flowers on this last page, because I only have flowers right here. So we need more flowers. And maybe I can locate a small butterfly. Like, where the heck are all my butterflies? <clears throat> there should be butterflies. I'm on you, so we can just see what you're okay. doing. Oh, I'm just, I'm playing with my little ones down here and my blank space, because the blank space is easier to play with. The blank space. Oh, I have a for butterfly from Craft Supplies for you, but I think it's too long to go here. It is. Darn it. Wouldn't that have been cute, though? Thank you. I am going to add some fairies and fairy houses because fairies and unicorns definitely go together. Oh, definitely. I'm good, Mary. I miss you, though. Miss you, Mary. Oh, I could put one of these. Uh, oh, yes, I found it was an Eiffel Tower. Bingo. Okay. And I do believe that the lovely Dora who has a beautiful last name that I'm not going to butcher for everybody from Iceland. Oh yeah. I, I can't say that either. No, I think I'm going to put that right there. Yes. But I do tr me and the guys at the post office do try to pronounce it. We have a good time.
But now see what I wish is, because these now are gonna to be too similar to me. Hi, Sierra. Um, let me click back on me real quick. Uh, be my Neil guest. <laughs> I'm just playing with stamps. Why don't we click on Mags and see what she's doing? Hey, I'm just supposed to be incognito here. <laughs> oh, I see. You know, she's just relaxing. Mags incognito today. Out, I did do the um, the front page. I'll show that after <clears throat> the cover, front cover, I guess. I need another pink bow, man. It's got to happen. Yes, pink is your color. Oh shoot! Okay, here we go. What? Oh, oh it's not landing. God, you just scared me. I was like, what was that? <laughs> Don't be scared. Don't scare me like that. Yeah. Why? And it didn't work. <laughs> it oh, doesn't work if you do it up. right. I forgot. I know I didn't. I forgot to like stand up. Yep, you got to stand up and clap right over it. Yes, yeah, so I'm working on a doily book. I didn't have a uh, uh, one of those plastic pocket things. And she didn't feel well. You know, and I didn't want to make one anyway. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, it's a good thing I love you. I know it is really. <clears throat> All right, so I'm going to add a doily just to add another layer on this one, and then I am going to put this lovely metal cabochon that dora gifted me forever ago because i've been hoarding this sucker it's oh, gorgeous. beautiful absolutely gorgeous <clears throat> right there and a pink bow on top I that. oh my gosh i'm gonna get a stock in i'm gonna buy some stock in um buffs plus puffs what the heck is the name of that Plus lotion. Yeah. <laughs> I can't even. Yeah, that's that a great idea. I've done fabric pocket letters. You can do them. They're amazing. All right. So mine is basically finished. I'm going to put a shaker in here and sew it. <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Love you, Angie. I really do. <laughs> And so there are the individual pockets. Oh, that looks awesome. Yeah, it does. And the shaker is going to be adorable right there. Mm. And I did add the little flowers around the heart. Oh, that's um. right. Now I'm going to show you just some ideas of some cute little gifts that you can put in the back. Because I think everybody stresses on what to put in the back. And I'm like, you're overthinking it. You're overthinking it. And so, Amy does not overthink. <laughs> I'm winging it, girl. I'm winging it. Yeah, fabric pocket, pocket letters are amazing. So in one pocket, I'm simply going to put some doilies. Or some They're all little. saying it's beautiful, and they, oh, Angie. Some little appliques. Oh, so sweet. But I do want to kind of clip them together. <clears throat> Safety pin. Now, where am I seeing oh. treasure hunt? Why can you only find huge ones? Holly, oh, I gotta get more ones. All right, so I found a safety pin to pin those together, but don't just pin it with a safety and not put like beads or something on it. Come on. Then do that. Then do that. Okay. So I'm gonna put add a couple pearls here. So maybe I can put them on. Yes! Yay! I can. I can. You can also add some sequins to this. It would be super cute. <clears throat> So I'm going to put them on the pin and then add another pearl, I think. Hang 
I'm going to turn on my heat gun. It should go quiet after a second. So it's already quiet. Okay, so with jingles and lace on it. Well, of course. That is going to be in the one pocket as a gift. Of course, Angie, you can send me blinged out chopsticks. Right? Like, yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, she said, I need chopsticks like Mr. Miyagi. <laughs> yeah, to exactly. that English fly. Yes. Yeah, bling and dangles. That's what I want. Oh, yeah. Also, a great thing to put in the back of here are these mesh blings. They fit perfect in here. They're flat. They're pretty. And who doesn't like to get that? Oh, that's a good idea. Great idea. I got plenty of that stuff. <laughs> here it yes, you do. <laughs> yeah, I wonder where I got it from. <laughs> it's perfect back there. And... <clears throat> Where is my craft supplies for these flat backs? Because I love the way that these flat backs come. Yes, I found some. Because you can just cut off a section of this and put it in a pocket. It's a perfect gift. That is, yeah, I love that stuff. Right? I love how she, this comes from craft supplies for you. Okay. Although I always cut it up that wide. Huh? I don't think I've ever seen it that wide. Yeah, this is the big one, or actually, it's not is the that big from one. KS for you. Yep. Oh, I have the skinnier one, but I didn't. I didn't realize it came that wide. She has it in like several different sizes, so I'm not yeah. sure what size mm -hmm. this is, but I know it comes smaller, and it might even come bigger, to be honest. But the link to craft supplies for you is below. So these fit in here. Awesome. That's why I like to decorate the back, because then when they take out the goodies, it's still pretty on the back. It's still pretty once you take that out. The reason it won't fit is because I'm trying to shove it in the same pocket that already has the pink mesh bean. Uh -huh. Yeah, it was smart. Okay, so that's I'm going to trace it and do embossing on the outside. So I did one if you want to look at it real quick. I want to look yeah, at it. I oh, that. that is so, awesome. And then I'll put glitter and stuff on the inside. But this way, like the middle one, I can stamp it with a unicorn. And then I can still trace over all the letters and emboss it. And the unicorn will like be behind it. You know what I'm saying? Are you on Laurel? Yes. Oh, okay. Maybe sure I have to. Oh, that's cool. So yeah, this will, like I said, this will be a really long process right here. <laughs> yeah, but but I bought this cool pen. It's a Nuvo, uh, like a, it's like a embossing pen. Oh, I haven't I seen just, those. I can just trace it and then put my sprinkle down and then. I need oh, and put your embossing powder down on using. Oh, so you could do like a thin line. Yeah, because I'm tracing over it. Where did you get the pen? I need the pen. Um, I'm trying to think. You can you can get them online, but Lana told me if you use any kind of liquid, you can you can put embossing powder over it because she does it. Yeah, but you need. I want to have a fine tip though, like that. right. Um, I'm trying to think where I got it. I think I got it from the lovely Deja, but you can get them. You can probably get them from Amazon and stuff too, because I don't believe she has them anymore. Oh my goodness. I need that. <clears throat> and of course, what would it be if I wasn't using purple embossing powder? Well, of course it just wouldn't be, it just wouldn't be right. So out of the sequins, I'm going to make the shaker. I'm going to uh, put a little shaker bag of goodies together in one of the pockets inside this little zipper pocket bag. Yeah, I never really got the shaker thing. It's so cute. I love shakers. Do you not like a shaker? You don't get the draw or what? Oh, I want to do a shaker in the middle so bad. That's an awesome idea. 
Right? Shaker is awesome. Except I think I might do it in my bottom one where my the one unicorn actually is. I might yeah. do the shaker down there. That'd be fantastic. You guys almost make me want to make one of those. <laughs> See? Oh. Yeah. Um, Angie says Versa. Versa make, Mark. Yeah. Versa, sheep said Versa make makes. Versa <laughs> Mark makes a pen too. <laughs> Yeah, see, Lana says she has a nouveau one too. <clears throat> Lana, I can't believe you're still up. I know. I was just gonna say that. It's like like two a.m. Two a.m. There. there, yeah. Yeah, two. It's almost two a.m. No, don't say two a.m. It's one fifty-three. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I need more sequins in my right colors. Oh, my God. I think I have sequins in every single color there is. Hi, Dorinda. You got that deal. Like, I need that deal. No, I mean, I have sequins in every color. I buy sequins all the time, too. Yeah, see, that's another thing I don't get is the sequins. Oh, love sequins. I need shakers to get sequins, I feel like. Right. If you don't get the shaker, right? No, right. I don't get the shaker. Okay, Lorna's laughing, but I don't know who she's laughing at. She's just laughing. And you know how, um, Amy, you know how everybody uses that fuse tool? Yes. You know, a soldering iron will do the same exact thing. If you take a metal ruler and tilt it and just run your soldering iron, your so it's just that you can get one for like four ninety six at Michael's. It does the same exact thing. All you have to do is run this through your sewing machine. Like, that's way easier. Oh, oh, yeah. There you go. I didn't even think of that. Yeah, all I do is sew this right here after I put my oh, shape. Oh, okay. So it's straight across. Great you idea. You know, it works. I don't know why you got a fuse tool. I'm like, use your sewing machine. Yeah, I'm not buying a fuse tool for whatever they want for them. I mean, I I could have got one when Tuesday morning had it for like nine ninety nine. I kept standing and contemplating, and I'm like, you know what? I bet you my soldering thing will do the same exact thing, and it does. Right. <clears throat> Somewhere I do have like a wood burner tool that would work. Yeah, that would work too. I don't even know where it is. I think I loaned it to somebody and they get it back or something. I don't know. But I made like a sequence. Uh, I mixed a bunch of sequins together, the same that I'm going to put in the middle for the shaker. And so that will just fold up behind the, I'm not going to put in a shaker pocket like I almost did. I'm going to sew this. So nothing goes in there. Thank you, Paula. See, she agrees with me. Her what? and I have a lot in common craft wise. What is what? she agreeing with you on? Uh, the, probably about the sequins and the shaker. You don't, so you don't like the shaker or what is it? I, I don't get it. No, I love I like the shakers because it. it's fun to play with. How do you not think they're pretty? Who doesn't like to shake it and it's beautiful? What is going on here? Maggie and Paula. What? How can you not think that's pretty? I don't understand. I, I don't know. I just don't. I, I don't know. I just don't get it. I think they're gorgeous. Yes, both Maggie. Paula, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let me go get <clears throat> put in here and we'll see what Laurel's doing while I go get it. Laurel's playing with her embossing powder. So I got the top row done. Now I'm working on the second row. So I'm just tracing with pen. With my okay, pen. Paula says, I don't have time to sit and shake it. It does do anything. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> and I I just, I don't know. I love them. I missed it. I was in the pantry. Paula said she doesn't have time to sit and shake it. <laughs> it doesn't do anything for me. It doesn't well, do why? anything for her. All right. Mental <laughs> note, don't make a shaker for Paula. She wants lace. Oh, what do you think I'm going to make for, for Maggie? What do you think I'm going to make for her? Take her. Do it. Yep. Okay, Jules. <laughs> Just because she loves them so much, I'm going to make her one. 
Well, Deb, you're getting a shaker on your pocket letter. So I hope you enjoy yeah. it. Jeannie, Jeannie says she's never made a shaker either. I can't help she, it. You keep there. So I to have fun. That's not, I don't know. <laughs> I can't help that. Hmm. All right. I like to always add a tea bag because they fit perfectly and it's just a thing to gift somebody. So I'm putting a little tea bag, and it's organic tea because, of course, that's all I drink is organic tea. Here's a bag of organic tea. You don't drink tea, Deb. You just gift it to somebody who does. That's really good tea. It's okay. I didn't make it. That's right. You can just enjoy the shaker because I made it. It will be pretty. All right, so we have a couple more pockets to fill up, and I did buy some goods today just for that. Um, I found these at the dollar store, and I was like, those are super cute. So we're going to add a couple of these back there. What, what are they? Show me, show me. Oh, I know. I love the butterflies and stuff. I love the dollar store. I haven't been in a dollar store in... Oh, well, you have to understand. They're almost like Walgreens around here. All right, Amy, Paula does love tea. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm going to make a shaker pocket. I was going to say, put the tea on the back of the shaker so she has to shake it. <laughs> make a special shaker gift rack bag and put a tea bag in it for Paula. There you go. All right, now I need it. Shaker. Now I need my unicorn stamp because I need to stamp this before I emboss. I've talked with Paula a couple times. Have I never sent you a shaker, Paula? Well, I'll remedy that on the next swap. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right, I think I need to do this in black. So let's find the black or the brown. Probably black. I don't know, Paula. I think we would have, we would have been better off if we just hadn't said anything. If you just had what? If Hadn't we, said anything. My friend Michelle, I am so happy you're here. Hi, Michelle. Hi, everyone. <clears throat> Big hugs to you. Miss you so much. No, but you make beautiful swaps. I love them all. <laughs> yeah, next time, Paula, you're getting a shaker. Get a shaker. <laughs> all right, bye, Sierra. Michelle, I'm trying to convince everybody to make a pocket letter. How do you feel about pocket letters, Michelle? All right, so I've got some little butterflies in that pocket. So now I only have two more pockets. And see, it's just sweet. You're like, you, you, you're giving your art to somebody, which is this. And then you're also giving them, you know, some little goodies to craft with. I think it's awesome. Yeah. You know what I am going to gift you, Deb? Let me get out my punch. These little bows are one of my absolute favorite thing to make. She's yeah. like, adorable. Amy, maybe I will shake it over a cup of tea. <laughs> <laughs> but they're, they're too um, bulky to put in the pocket. But what I'll do is punch some out. Have a good night, Jeannie. She has oh. to go. Bye, Jeannie. Good night, Jeannie. Love and hugs. I will punch them out, and then I can send that in the pocket, and she can make some little cute little clothes, too. I love these bows. And if you don't know how to put them together, Deb, I've got a tutorial somewhere a couple videos back. And I will cut it out of the same paper that I made your pocket letter with. Right? I'm loving paper lately too, Michelle. I just am loving it. But everybody's oh, saying, hide the bow maker, hide the bow maker. <laughs> Everything's better with a bow. <clears throat> I totally agree. So I'm going to make them different so you'll know which ones go together or you might be confused with all the little pieces. So I am going to be live um, next week also making Christmas cards. And I will put the template for the Christmas card that we're going to be making in the craft room group later this week. That way you can make the cards with me. I think it would be fun. Awesome. 
<laughs> that sounded real convincing there, Mags. Because <laughs> I, I remember watching your last card adventure. Oh, yeah. That was, yeah, that was not, that was not good. Oh, the card you just made? Yeah, the the night I just, I couldn't even concentrate or anything. I had just come back from seeing my brother. Yeah, there was nothing wrong with the card, though. Uh, oh, please. No, she just wasn't enjoying the process. No, so. she was not. Next. No, but I do like making cards. So I will make a couple of Christmas cards. Oh, bless you. That's the spirit. Yeah. yeah. I have spirit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um. Actually, the card I'm going to be making was inspired by um, uh, Lindsay, the frugal crafter. Oh, yeah. He had, she just did a tutorial for the Christmas tree card like last week, I think it was. And we we're going to be doing something very similar to that because I loved it. And I was like, yeah. All right. So are we all making, are we making the same card or? But yeah, we can all make this card. Oh, okay. Oh, well, I hope whatever it was, Michelle, that you're healing quickly. You sound in good spirits. Okay, you're, we're going to let you off the hook, Lana. You're allowed. <laughs> Sleep well. Good night, Lana. Good night, Lana. I'm going to put all the bow bits in a little baggie. And now Deb has stuff to make the tiny bows. There you go, Deb, a fabric Christmas card. Yes. All right, Paula wants to know, though, you got to give her a heads up of what she needs to make the card. Okay. Uh, Paula, you're in the in the craft room group, aren't you? I believe that you are. Um, I'm going to put the template in there and the list of what you'll need. <clears throat> I'll put that in the group. And when I make the event, I'll also put it in the description of the event. Well, I, I can't put the template there, but I can put the other things that you'll need. Oh my gosh. So now I have one more pocket to decide what goodie needs to go. And then all I'll have to do is finish the shaker. And bless Laurel's heart. She's going to be doing that pocket letter for about two months. <laughs> and then when she's done, <laughs> maybe she'll show it to you. All yes, right. How I just kind of printed the unicorn behind it and then used the, just so there's a print behind there. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, uh, this is going to take me forever. Don't worry about me. It's a it's a process here for me. Yeah, are, you getting, are you getting oh, tired, Amy? Yeah. Gonna, Whenever you're done, Amy, you just yeah. say the word. Say the word. I'm not Speedy Gonzalez over here, and I will just sit and continue to work on mine. Well, what I'm hoping is that um, I made the pocket letter look fun to you. If you didn't like it or know how it works, I thought, you know, let me just show you what I like about it. And, and um, besides Maggie and Paula, <laughs> right? <laughs> I hope everybody likes them and we'll give them a shot. Now, if, if they're, if you're in the U S we have a shabby chic swap group for USA and next year we will be doing a pocket letter swap and a lot of other fun things. So, you know, come on and join the link is below. Jacqueline. What's that? Jacqueline's in the chat. Yeah, I said hi to Jacqueline. Oh, I missed Oh, her. hi, Jacqueline. I missed. Honey. I missed. Sorry. And then I hope that um, I gave you some ideas of things that you could add to the back. I mean, you don't have to overthink this. If it fits, it ships, right? And That's who doesn't right. have a little crafty goodie? You know, if you're if the person that you're sending your pocket letter to likes chocolate, like if you're sending me a pocket letter, you can fit chocolate in here. Yep. Now, There's now, isn't I'm going to ask you a question. I didn't mean to interrupt. No. Uh, aren't one of the pockets supposed to have a little letter in it? Well, that's when pocket letters originated as a pen pal type thing. So okay. 
you, if you wanted it to be a pin pal thing, you could put an about you letter and you'd also put a list of questions that you'd want your pin pal to answer. Okay. I treat mine more like happy mail gifts instead okay. of pin pages. So I don't, I don't add the letter okay. or the I wasn't sure because I remember when I first watched some, <clears throat> someone was like, oh, at how one yeah. pack is supposed to have a letter in it. Right, because, yeah, because that's what they were intended for. <clears throat> um, Sorry about Brady barking. But I just, you know, I just like to send them as little happy mails and, you know, okay. I, I don't want to just assume everybody wants to know about me. They just right. want a little gift. <laughs> so that's all I do. But you can do, you know, you can do it. Sorry just about Brady barking. The kids are coming home. You're fine. Please. Yep. Angie says, make sure to give this pocket letter a big thumbs up. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. yes it is beautiful. It's, it's nice and easy to ship, too. It is beautiful. And Laurel's will be too when she finishes it. Right. When I finish it. <laughs> Way more attention and work into hers than I am to mine. Which is awesome. Yeah, I, I over I overthink everything and make it a process. <laughs> it becomes a process. So we will be um on my channel live again next week making the Christmas cards. And I'll be live with Maggie and Laurel, right? On Thursday. Yep. On Maggie's channel, right so, Thursday night. Yeah, that that'll Amy, be. Now you're going to have to, being as you're here, you're going to have to come on my channel. But and that's Friday, Friday night. Chuck comes home Friday nights. Oh, I know, I know. So I'm only available Monday through Thursday. Monday through Thursday, yeah. Yeah, or maybe, I'd love to. Are you kidding me? That would be so much fun. Maybe we'd have to do. Maybe we'll do an extra night next right. week. Right. Maybe we'll have to do a Tuesday or something. Yeah, I'm totally down. Um, what are we doing, Maggie, on your Thursday? I think we're just winging it. We're just kind we're, of crafting and playing. As usual, just winging it. You can do whatever you want. Yeah, actually, I think I'll be making um, three by three note cards because I need to make some. Oh, those are awesome too. So I'll probably be doing that while Maggie's working her magic on a doily. As always, she's always working magic. He's amazing. He's amazing. My granddaughter brought me back some sorbet. Oh, my goodness. Really? You had to say that out loud? <laughs> <laughs> oh, good, Michelle. I'm glad to hear it. Thanks, Avril. Thanks, Paula. I appreciate it. Thanks, um, Angie, for moderating my chat box. You're amazing. So much love for everybody, and thanks, thanks for, so much for having me on, Amy. I appreciate it. I love learning new things, so this will be it will be fun once I get going. But I <laughs> went so slow on my first project. I'm so glad that you were here, Laurel. And I can't right, wait so. to see that pocket letter finished. Yeah, me either. <laughs> All right, everyone. So Thursday night, my channel, you'll see the same two people. At Three. least, yeah. Well, the same, all, yeah, the three of us. I met you guys. I'm, I have to be there. <laughs> probably the same people in the chat. We'll all meet up at Maggie's Thursday night. Hey, sounds good. Yep, sounds good. All right, bye, everybody. Bye, bye everybody. everybody.